We are reporting live from the sidelines of the Data Strategy Summit at Ritz-Carlton in Bengaluru. Thank you so much for joining us today. With me, I've got Dr. Shivani Rai Gupta. She's the Chief Data Scientist at Geo. Shivani, thank you so much for joining us. It's an absolute pleasure hosting you. Thanks, thanks for having me here. All right. Now, well, we've been talking about uh, data strategies and uh, AI, Gen AI all day long. So, uh, Shivani, to start with, it's going to be an easy question. Um, do you think AI models at this point in time are equipped to take business decisions independently? Very good question, but not a very so uh, easy answer. Uh, depends on the problem you're trying to solve and the cost of failing a model. Right. If you talk about a marketing marketing promotion where you have suggested a uh, probably a different type of a product to a customer and it fails, there is no harm, right? But if you are suggesting, uh, if an AI model is used to suggest a medicine to a patient and that fails, the cost of failure is very high. So depending on the criticality of where you are uh, using the model de de decides can it be fully independent or can it be semi-independent or it could be kind of a mix of both, right? So when I was working with financial institutions, uh, I have even automated a lending process where uh, you can get a, a loan in two minutes, right? Not only just two minute noodle, but uh, a loan in two minutes. But it used to pass through two human eyes because of the compliance. So you probably automate the 99% of the process, but still it will pass through one or two human eyes because of the compliance, because you don't want to take a risk of giving a loan or wrong loan to a wrong person. So depending on what you are trying to achieve, what is the ultimate objective, where it is uh, fitting with the criticality and your accuracy of the solution, that decides can it be fully independent or it can be semi-independent or not at all independent at all in the process. All right, great answer, Dashwani. Thank you for that. Now, uh, who better to talk about data strategy than uh, Chief Data Data Scientist Naru at Geo? So, uh, Shivani, when you're talking about data strategies, uh, what would be your advice to uh, your uh, fellow peers and also to other CIOs and CTOs? What kind of a data strategy must they adopt to ensure that their AI models are meeting the intended business objectives? I uh, see. One is uh, getting the data into a central stage is the very first step. I think majority of the organizations have already achieved that. But if it is not there, it has to be there, right? Because we are looking customer as a holistic view. We are look, going for a hyper-personalization where data sitting in one place is the very first step of any AI or data journey. Uh, second would be how clean the data is because it's a garbage in, garbage out kind of a situation. Unless we are getting a clean data, which is not the case, is still majority of the places, it's a kind of a vision, everyone is having it. Mm -hmm. But if we are able to clean the data and keep it in a place where others can utilize that, right? That that reduces the journey of what data scientists are spending today, majority of our time. I still think that my team spends nearly 40% of their time in the data cleansing process and making sure that data is correct, right? right. Once that process is faster, we have a lot of different automation uh, getting done in the modeling process where AI solutions are built, right? So right. that process can be automated by using the technological advancement, uh, advancement, but the data cleansing and data authenticity is still not fully automated. So that's the place where new data strategies are coming in, where you are trying to solve that as a problem using AI itself. So data... Right. AI is not only on the pyramid, uh, top of the pyramid, where you are only using for uh, data modeling purpose, okay. but coming in the picture where all the data is getting ingested or data is getting cleansed or data is, ETL processes are running, the entire process can you utilize a couple of either IP, uh, RPA solutions or your AI solutions to automate these processes, which was mostly humanly driven. So a strategy which can be utilized AI for AI mm -hmm. and uh, doing a lot of automation in the business. All right, some great pearls of wisdom out there. Now, to wrap up, uh, Shivani, if you could tell us a little bit about uh, there's this whole noise around uh, making AI more accountable. Uh, as a practitioner, what would be your uh, steps? You know, what are some of the success stories that you would want to share when it comes to making AI more accountable? And very importantly, how do you uh, remove the bias or the possibility of false positives and false negatives creeping up? 
very valid question i would say uh, see accountability is not of ai but the people who own these solutions so ai solutions are basically owned by the businesses what we are trying to say that business needs to make sure those processes are in place where you are checking authenticity of these models the responsibility the bias perspective all needs to be taken care of by the business owners and unless they are putting skin in the game in the ai solutions ai models it will be not going to be a sustainable solutions so that when when we talk about ai teams sitting in the businesses this is one of the reasons because when they are sitting with the businesses business is owning the entire um, you can say journey of data and the ai solutions and they are the people who know the, that business in and out they know where there is bias uh, in place data science people can identify the you can say um, outliers but they will not be able to confirm it is a, a, a kind of a bias or not that is the business uh, owners who know and identify that right so it's more of a like working in business with business sitting with them knowing all these details which will help uh, ai to become much more responsible much more unbiased and much more useful for businesses on a day to day basis Right. All right, folks. You heard that breakdown the silos between business and technology. So uh, that was Dr. Shivani Rai Gupta, the chief data scientist at Geo. Shivani, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.